G'day guys, welcome back to another BTS. Uh, today we've got the Corsair 5000X, but first of all, Miller and I just wanna say thank you all for the support. You YouTube members and Patreons really help us out to afford extra materials and things like that. And also to upgrade our camera gear. And I just realized I'm wearing a piece of tube as a ring. <laughs> Yeah, I found that on the floor, so. Oh my god. <laughs> Just playing around with that at the moment. To activate all of Windows features, head on over to bobkeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $14.62. That's a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. You can now enjoy all of your Windows 10 features. Amelia, what do you think of this build? Oh, I love this. I love this. I love everything about this. You love the fans. Don't I you? am obsessed That's with the fans. That's your favorite part. The RGB. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, you're all about RGB. I am. I so love the fans. This PC was for Intel's uh, 11th gen CPU launch. We have the 11900K inside this system. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be the uh, CPU that we're all hoping for, but hopefully later on this year. There's going to be a new CPU launch and Intel is going to bring some heat to the table. Some competition, that's what we want. That'll uh, cause you know, better pricing as well. Hopefully not on 14 nanometer. Hopefully. But uh, yeah. So this is the Corsair 5000X case. Uh, lots of cool master prismatic RGB fans inside. And uh, we've got the Asus Hero 13 motherboard inside, paired with a RTX 3090 from Asus as well. This one comes pre-installed with the EK water blocks. We made our own custom liquid. What do you think about that, Amelia? Yeah, I love the liquid. I was gonna say you should tell them about the liquid. The liquid was made with something called Mika powder, a pearlescent Mika powder. And we put a bit of candy red and some other lighter red in there to create this color. Um, this is show fluid, so it's not meant to stay in the build for too long. Uh, hence why we are filming this now. We actually built this PC a day ago, so I'm actually going to be pulling it apart. That's how quick the, uh, the turnover on these builds are. Get them done, pull them apart, onto the next project, and we keep on grinding. So that's how it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah, uh, all of the water cooling gear inside is from EK Waterblocks and we've got Corsair RGB Dominate Platinum RAM and that's pretty much it for this system, isn't it? A nice simple one that we got done for the uh, launch of 11th gen CPUs. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's great. I think we did pretty good for, what, two days work, was it? <laughs> not bad, two days? not yeah. bad. <laughs> Normally it takes us about a solid week to get a PC done. Obviously this one doesn't have much customization, well, any customization really, but um, it was a nice clean, and we haven't done RGB in quite a while, haven't we? Yeah, I love the RGB. Amelia really I like, wanted RGB. I was gonna set the fans to a solid color, like red or white or something like that. Amelia wanted RGB. It had to be RGB, look how good it looks. Ha happy wife, happy <laughs> life, is that how it works? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys, uh, we appreciate your support. What's going on guys? Another PC build for you all. Uh, the Cooler Master Master Frame 700. What do you think about it, Amelia? I love it. This looks so good. I'm obsessed with these fans. Although you would have I love preferred this. them in RGB, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was a hard choice. <laughs> what about the satin tubes? How do you feel about them yeah, compared really to like nice. clear tubes? I like it. I like the look. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really like the. Is that what they're called? Satin. Satin. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So not We've completely done a couple. clear. Yeah, well, I think this is our second or third build using him, um, and we really liked him in the first build, so I wanted to try him in this one. And um, the whole idea was we get every single tube going straight down uh, for a nice clean look. What do, what do you think about all the tubes going straight down, though? Yeah, like it's that? different, yeah. Yeah. We kind of did a similar thing with the Tech yeah, City Builder set. All of them went straight up. Yeah. Now these ones have like a 90 degree, and then they go straight down, mm -hmm. so. Um, I love that going. look. Like I really love the look of the symmetry between them all. So, no, I think that turned out really nice. And what about this big reservoir? 
Yeah, it fits perfectly. <laughs> I took off the, I think the original tube was about maybe that long. Um, so yeah, we put a much bigger one on there and I, I thought that it filled out the space a lot more. Yeah. And does. we made this purple ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. So that's got the, uh, the pink thermal take dye in it with a tiny bit of blue in there to darken it up. So I think it turned out all right. But do you, do you like the color scheme? Yeah, I do. I did like the RGB or this blue. Yeah. Uh, even like the white option yeah. with the yeah. purple. Well, the blue we stumbled across upon by accident, right? Yeah. Because we were just going through the, um, the whole RGB spectrum and then the blue just sort of stood out. But it reminds me of, you know, those, uh, the purple and teal builds? Mm -hmm. Like the, I mean, the, the blue and teal and yeah, I don't know, like purple and blue just seems to sort of work together. So I, th I thought it looked really nice when we put that on. And uh, do you think gold fittings were the way to go? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I was after a gold and purple build, so I think it turned out really nice. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about this build? Let us know down in the comments. What do you guys think about these fans? Cooler Master's after a lot of feedback. The whole idea behind them is Cooler Master was going to collaborate with G-Skill to design these to match their RAM, um, but Cooler Master ended up doing it by themselves. So how do you think they've done in matching the uh, the ring on the fan with the G Skill Trident Zero RAM. Let us know in the comments. Wait, you're recording now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow, this looks so good. Well, I mean, the RAM is meant to be red, but you know. <laughs> wow, it looks so good. I love this. This is Custom so cool. Custom liquid. We made the liquid. So cool. That is called Mika powder. It's pearlescent Mika powder. Oh, why? Wow. Mm. What do you think of the color combination though? Like Fantastic. The bronze with uh, red. And we used it in the uh, logo as well down there. So good. Yeah, so, I think it's perfect. Yeah. So this is the Antec DF700 uh, Flux case. It's a new design from Antec where they have two fans down the bottom uh, pulling in air from beneath the case with an open grill. Uh, and so the idea behind that is it provides the GPU with um, you know, cool air from nowhere. And hence why these GPUs fans are not spinning at the moment. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I didn't is, think about that. That's well, cool the, so they only spin when it reaches a certain temperature, but these fans are pretty much blowing into the card anyway, so they hardly ever turn on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, this is the Red Devil card, by the way. 6900 XT. We've never worked with them before, so it's pretty cool to have them on the build. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I just love that liquid. It's so good. What colour are you going to do next? I don't know. Well... I mean, we did a bit of splurging, didn't we? We got so we many got colors. <laughs> a lot of colors to make custom coolant. But it's gonna be interesting seeing like how hard this coolant is to clean up though. Mm. Cause we're about to take this build apart. So I don't know, we'll see how hard the cleanup job is and if it's worth using it or not. I think it's worth it just because it looks so cool. It does look really good. But it's probably yeah. going to be a pain to clean up. It'll be interesting to see actually. Maybe we should uh, give you guys an update on how it goes. Yes, definitely. Hopefully it's not like... I mean, I, I feel like I'm going to have to flush the radiator a couple of times for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I'll pull apart the CPU blocks anyway, so that'll get cleaned right up. But. I think we'll be all right. Yes. Oh, it'll be a shame <laughs> to pull it all apart, but oh, yeah. it's no, so I, good. I, honest, I loved how this one turned out. Like, even though it's like, it, it's a fairly simple sort of concept, but it just turned out looking really nice, I think. And I, I just love these cables as well. I think it contrasts really nice. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah, I think the whole resin thing you're adding into your build is a really great idea. Yeah, I don't want to do it with every build though. I'm gonna like, <laughs> we're gonna come up with some new things. Make so. it special. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this build and uh, thanks for your support. What is happening, guys? Here is our next PC build that we are showing you all, our Corsair PC uh, 
which we used the full Corsair Hydro X water cooling gear, and we also uh, paired up some AMD gear to go inside here as well. So we have the Ryzen 9, what is it, the 5950X is what we have. And we also have a 6800XT, I believe it is, inside of here. And so this build was, for Corsair, as you can see, we've started pulling it apart. This weather here has been so crazy, and it's made this start to sweat. So the way we painted this is we actually use a rust effect paint and it has like metal particles in it and we put an activator on it and it, it's real rust on this case. And then you put a clear sealant over it to you know prevent it from rusting anymore. But what has happened is because it, there's so much humidity in the air and so much moisture, it's starting to sweat everywhere. And so we're gonna pull this build apart. Um, if you zoom in closer down here, you can see all of the little water droplets. It's just all sweating through. It's crazy. It's so weird, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna pull apart this build today. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Nothing, nothing is damaged or anything. All the sweat is just sitting on the outside of the case pretty much and this inside panel. So yeah, we're halfway through pulling it apart. As you guys can tell, it's on a bit of a lean at the moment. We don't have the front panel on the back panel and we don't have the original um, front part as well where we had the metal mesh. So we've taken that apart. We're going to actually try and salvage those to reuse some of those parts for future builds. The fans, we probably won't keep. We might either give them away or chuck them out. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're up to now in the process of taking this thing apart. Hope you're all enjoying these builds. Thanks for, thanks for your support, guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Amelia and I really appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Thanks, guys. Thanks.